In the golden haze of vintage television, where imagination knew no bounds and innovation danced freely across the screen, one show dared to defy conventions and transport viewers to a realm of electrifying adventure. Picture this, it's a time when colorful spandex suits weren't just a fashion statement, but a symbol of empowerment. The year is 1976, and Electra Woman and Dina Girl burst onto the scene, igniting the hearts of audiences with a blend of superheroic charm and campy charisma. As you traverse the corridors of your memory, do you recall that very first encounter with the dazzling duo? Perhaps it was the crackling anticipation of their crime-fighting exploits, the zapping energy of their wristbands, or the delightful corniness of it all that etched itself into your mind. There's a certain magic in those moments, a connection formed between you and the screen, as if you were secretly part of their mission to thwart dastardly villains. Can you almost feel the pang of nostalgia as you reminisce about your favorite scenes and the heroes who championed justice, all while embracing the eccentricity of their era? Now, let's journey beyond the nostalgic haze and delve into the captivating trivia that surrounds Electra Woman and Dina Girl. Peel back the curtain to reveal the quirky origins of the show, the unexpected cultural impact it left, and the delightful anecdotes that might just catch you by surprise. From behind-the-scenes stories to tidbits that will make you smile with newfound insight, these random facts promise to rekindle your appreciation for this remarkable slice of television history. So, my fellow time traveler through the annals of TV wonder, buckle up for a riveting ride down memory lane as we explore the universe of Electra Woman and Dina Girl like never before. Uncover the gems that remain hidden, waiting to be unearthed from the vault of pop culture lore. Are you ready to unlock the secrets and immerse yourself in the glow of nostalgia? Then, let's begin this adventure together, 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 together. In 1976, the TV series Electra Woman and Dina Girl emerged as a captivating blend of superhero action and campy humor. Originating from the creative minds of Sid and Marty Croft, the show centered around two crime-fighting heroines, Electra Woman and Dina Girl, portrayed by Dater Hall and Judy Strangis. The duo, armed with high-tech gadgets and a sleek electric car, battled an array of quirky villains within the fictional Electra base. Notably, the series drew inspiration from the superhero genre's conventions while adding its own unique flair. The characters' flamboyant costumes, futuristic gadgets, and over-the-top battles exuded a playful charm that resonated with audiences. This distinctive style, characterized by its embrace of campiness, set Electra Woman and Dina Girl apart from more serious superhero adaptations of the era. The show's impact on popular culture was enduring, influencing subsequent generations of creators and fans. While its original run was relatively short-lived, the series cultivated a cult following that celebrated its campy sensibilities and its pioneering portrayal of female superheroes. This light-hearted approach paved the way for later superhero parodies and comedic takes on the genre. Now, delving into some intriguing trivia about the show, the Croft brothers, known for their imaginative productions, initially conceived Electra Woman and Dina Girl as a segment for the Croft Super Show. Interestingly, the show's characters and setting were both futuristic and retro, embodying a distinctive blend of time periods. Additionally, the series featured a recurring antagonist named Glitter Rock, played by the Croft brothers themselves. Despite its relatively brief existence, Electra Woman and Dina Girl left an indelible mark on the landscape of television and superhero storytelling, showcasing the enduring power of camp and comedy in the genre. A testament to its lasting influence, the series continues to be fondly remembered and celebrated by fans and creators alike. And that's a glimpse into the vibrant world of Electra Woman and Dina Girl, where nostalgia and superhero antics converged in delightful harmony. Electra Woman and Dina Girl, Nostalgia's Enduring Glow, the 1976 TV series, Electra Woman and Dina Girl, continues to cast its neon-hued spell on audiences, with its quirky blend of superheroics and low-budget charm. The show's theme song, catchy and iconic, resonates with fans even decades after the show's original run. The series follows the adventures of Lori and Judy, Aka Electra Woman and Dina Girl, as they battle supervillains in their electric-powered crime-fighting attire. But it's not just the heroine's flashy costumes and low-budget special effects that captivate audiences. The kitschy visual elements, once deemed cheesy, have now aged into an endearing nostalgia. However, beneath the show's charm lies a controversial shadow. 
Electra Woman and Dina Girl has faced allegations of cultural appropriation due to the portrayal of Asian villains and martial arts themes in certain episodes. While the series is a product of its time, critics argue that such portrayals perpetuated harmful stereotypes. Despite these critiques, the show's enduring legacy remains undeniable. The theme song, aptly titled Electra Woman and Dina Girl, encapsulates the era's audacious spirit, weaving its melody into the fabric of pop culture history. Fans fondly remember and hum the tune, a testament to its lasting impact. The 1976 TV series might be defined by its budget constraints, but it's the fusion of nostalgia, camp, and a dash of controversy that cements Electra Woman and Dina Girl in the annals of cult television. Its vibrant characters, offbeat storytelling, and unforgettable theme song continue to light up the memories of those who embraced its quirky charm. Electra Woman and Dina Girl, the 1976 TV series, shines as a colorful gem of 70 seconds nostalgia. Originally released in 16 serialized segments on the Croft Super Show, the show later underwent a transformation, emerging as eight standalone episodes that sporadically flickered across television screens and home videos. While the standalone editions trimmed content from the Super Show versions, some extended shots found their way into the new cuts, preserving the spirit of the original. A fascinating quirk lies in the fact that only part two of the thrilling saga Empress of Evil remained untouched through these transitions. The show's iconic protagonist, Electra Woman, steps forth as a lighthearted riff on the renowned DC Comics figure Wonder Woman. Bedecked in red, white, and blue, her costume and persona serve as a playful homage to the Amazonian princess. This tongue-in-cheek nod not only showcases the show's wit but also underscores its unique position in the superhero landscape. Drawing inspiration from the campy aura of the 1960s Batman TV series, Electra Woman and Dina Girl unveils a world brimming with colorful villains and comical charm. The show's episodes are peppered with witty banter and over-the-top adversaries, capturing the essence of its predecessor while crafting an identity all its own. As the years have rolled on, the show's legacy endures, rekindling the spirit of a bygone era. From its humble origins on the Croft Super Show to its quirky standalone transformation, Electra Woman and Dina Girl remains a cherished relic of television history, inviting new generations to revel in its vibrant, whimsical universe. Electra Woman and Dina Girl, unveiling the dynamic duo's fascinating tidbits in the realm of 1970s television. The crime-fighting duo of Electra Woman and Dina Girl shone brightly as icons of retro pop culture. While their on-screen escapades were captivating, the behind-the-scenes details bring a new layer of intrigue to this iconic TV series. Originally conceptualized as an animated series, the live-action adaptation of Electra Woman and Dina Girl took viewers on an unexpected journey. This transition from animation to live-action injected a unique dynamic into the show's narrative, captivating audiences with its blend of retro-futuristic aesthetics and crime-fighting heroics. Amidst the crime-fighting exploits, an intriguing fact emerges, the age difference between the characters' portrayers. Judy Strangis, the actress who embodied Dina Girl, shared a mere two years and 53 days difference with her counterpart, Daedra Hall, who portrayed Electra Woman. This minimal age gap played into their on-screen chemistry, enhancing the authenticity of their crime-solving partnership. While the show's primary focus was on its titular heroes, it also attracted an array of guest stars. One such star was Marky Post, recognized for her roles in Night Court and The Fall Guy. In a single episode of the series, Post made her mark by stepping into the role of Lori, Electra Girl. This unexpected appearance added a fresh layer of intrigue to the show, drawing in fans from various corners of the television landscape. The legacy of Electra Woman and Dina Girl endures, as its quirks and charms continue to captivate new generations. From its origins as an animated concept to the uncanny age alignment of its leading ladies, the show's behind-the-scenes tales are as captivating as the adventures that played out on screen. On screen. On Electra Woman and Dina Girl, a nostalgic gem of 1970s TV, the 1976 TV series Electra Woman and Dina Girl may have only graced the screen for a single season encompassing 16 episodes, but its enduring charm continues to captivate fans of classic superheroes and nostalgic television. The show's swift cancellation belied its lasting impact 
as it carved out a distinct place in the hearts of viewers. At its core, Electra Woman and Dina Girl boasted an intriguing origin. Originally conceived as an animated series, the concept transformed into live-action escapades that introduced the world to the dynamic crime-fighting duo. In a twist of homage, Electra Woman's red, white, and blue costume and superheroic persona playfully nodded to the iconic DC Comics character Wonder Woman, crafting a clever and satirical mirror of the Amazonian princess. Despite its brief run, the series etched its name into pop culture history, not merely as a whimsical parody but as a testament to the era's fascination with superheroes. While its screen time was limited, Electra Woman and Dina Girl wrote itself into the annals of television, where it remains a cherished relic of a bygone television landscape. Whether reminiscing about the show's quirky charm or appreciating its parody of iconic heroes, fans and newcomers alike can find a distinct allure in the legacy of Electra Woman and Dina Girl. Its resounding impact reminds us that even ephemeral moments can endure in the collective memory, encapsulating a captivating era of television magic. Vision magic. Vision ma As the vibrant world of Electra Woman and Dina Girl fades from the screen, its legacy remains etched in the annals of television history. A journey back to 1976, a year when polyester fashion and disco beats reigned supreme, also marked the birth of this iconic series that whisked us away to a realm of electrifying heroism and dynamic camaraderie. Every episode, a tapestry woven with daring exploits and ingenious gadgets, spun a web of fascination that ensnared our imaginations. The magnetic allure of Electra Woman's powerful wrist cuffs and Dina Girl's unwavering determination became threads that interwove with the fabric of our childhood dreams. It's not just about watching, it's about embracing that rush of nostalgia, summoning memories that dance like distant stars across the night sky. Recall those Saturday mornings when you huddled close to the television, eyes wide with anticipation, as the daring duo vanquished villains with flair and fortitude. Picture yourself, a witness to their daring escapades, a part of their electric journey. The laughter and gasps, the cheers and sighs, each episode became a chapter in the epic tale of your connection to Electra Woman and Dina Girl. But this is not just about reminiscing, it's about celebrating the spark that ignites when we dive into shared memories. So, I invite you to step into the spotlight, to share your thoughts, your favorite moments, and the lessons you carry from their universe. Perhaps it was Dina Girl's unwavering resolve or Electra Woman's indomitable spirit that left an indelible mark on your own heroic journey. Your story, your reflection, adds yet another layer to the legacy of Electra Woman and Dina Girl. Like a mosaic, each memory brings vibrant color to the canvas of their timeless adventures. So let your thoughts flow, and let your words join the chorus of those who've been touched by the brilliance of this show. Thank you for allowing the past to collide with the present, for sharing your personal tapestry of memories. The screen may fade, but the echoes of Electra Woman and Dina Girl will forever resonate within us, a reminder of a time when heroes reigned supreme, and the power of friendship and courage illuminated our hearts. With gratitude for your time and interest, trist, trist, trist.